Joining us now is Mark Newton, Fundstrat Global Head of Technical Strategy. I mean, I know that's the intro that we wrote, but what do you mean it didn't surprise you? You expected up 700 and then finished ba basically flat up 100? Come on. Well, there's a lot of things still wrong with this rally, Scott. And one is that we've seen a huge uptick in defensive trading just in the last month. I mean, utilities have outperformed technology by over 500 basis points. So this is not your average December. Um, you know, technology, to its credit, you know, it has rallied about 3% this week, but it's still underperforming and not really moving up that aggressively. And so, you know, a lot of my work shows a stalling out and a mild pullback between now and likely December expiration. Uh, I do think the last seven to 10 days are probably higher in the market to end the year on a good note. But, you know, this isn't going to be your, your rip roaring rally where everything just takes off. And I think there's one thing for investors to pay attention to. It's the fact that, you know, inflation data came in tame today. But yet look at the 10 year yield. Uh, that's up about 10 basis points off a of low. So two year fell. If anything, we're seeing uh, the start of some steepening now in the yield curve, which I think will be led by the two year. But anytime we see a big move higher in the long end of the curve, that's typically not a great sign for technology. And I think that could continue to be the case over the next couple of weeks. We could see tech lag as yields start to move higher. I mean, looking at the two year as you're talking, because those, you know, there are people like Gundlach, for example, who say that the two year leads the Fed. The Fed's, right. I mean, the, the two years at 422. Well, it might be tough to see the two-year get down meaningfully under Fed funds. I mean, my thinking is it can get to 4%. Uh, but the 10-year, I expect to stabilize and actually rally a little bit in terms of yield. So, you know, if anything, we see a bounce in 10s and 30s while two-year, you know, we'll see a little bit of a steepening. Um, tough to know. In, in general, inflation continues to come down. And that's what, you know, our own Tom Lee has been talking about for quite some time. So I know you'll have the chance to talk to him tomorrow. But uh, look, markets are at a, a critical make or break here on the upside. We've seen a good rally in a lot of different sectors, industrials, healthcare, discretionary, financials. It just hasn't really been in technology. Uh, that's really a key uh, piece of the puzzle with Apple being 7% of the S&P, and it's been range-bound since May. I know, but couldn't so, you make a counter case that it's actually healthy, that it's in other areas of the market, particularly more cyclical areas than mega cap tech? I do think that's one thing the bulls have going for them heading into next year. We have seen the rest of the market rebound pretty strongly. I would also mention, you know, the majority of institutions I speak to remain on the sidelines. So everybody's got this forecast that we're going to have a weak first half and then rally. Uh, it makes me, you know, really hard to, to think the market's going to have a huge decline if everybody's already on that side of the boat and thinks that's going to happen. So, you know, we'll wait and see. Uh, you know, I am thinking that it, upside is going to be tough from here in the short run, but I'm not convinced that we have to have a huge bear market further into next year, if that's really what everybody else is thinking. But you almost paint a picture where tomorrow doesn't matter, that, you know, stocks are not going to rally for all the other reasons that you suggested, no matter what the Fed chair says, barring some incredible shocker that's, you know, unbelievably dovish. Hey, as you know, Scott, you know, I don't look at, at fundamentals or macro to make decisions. And so a lot of this is based on momentum and breadth having rolled over and uptick in defensive trading technology just not able to rally and a lot of the cycle is starting to roll over. Uh, DeMarc exhaustion for those that study that kind of thing is going to be present within the next couple of days. So there are some reasons to think that this December is going to be different than your normal December. Uh, I, I'm very willing to participate if the market rips up above 4250 because I know people are going to be caught flat footed and they'll need to catch up. But I just don't want to take a lot of risk right here ahead of the Fed. And I think today's reversal was pretty important and it's important for investors to really concentrate on what yields are doing in the long end of the curve. All right. I guess that's why you guys are the technicians. You take the uh, emotion out of it, if you will, and the fundamentals, too. We'll see you soon.